artists from all over the world have been sharing their stories about the process of uh, making art. However, I haven't seen a video explaining what materials they use to make art. I hope this uh, video will make you appreciate even more the creativity and tools that goes behind it. I'm going to show you what oil paints I use to make art. You might think you know the answer, but you know only a little bit about what involve, what is involved in the process of uh, creating. We often see blank canvas and then final masterpiece. And that's great too. All this makes me want to show you my tools, specifically oil paints that I use in the studio. In the studio I use at least 10 brands of oil paints, but these two are my best choices. Before I get to any of them, I want to tell you how important it is to have a proper place to store your oil paints. As messy as I am, I still try to have at least a feeling of an organized station where all my oil paints are. Therefore, I found this abandoned table at the dumpster and decided to use it to display my oil paints. I added some uh, wheels so it is easy to move around the studio. On top of the table you can see oil paints. At first you may think it takes me ages to find the color I need but it's not as bad. It usually takes a couple of minutes. I am working on better organization, trust me. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Now, these are the oil paints brands I use in the studio. No particular order. Georgian, Luca Studio, Old Hollands, Williamsburg, Richardson Oils, Winsor & Newton, Moussigny, Classico, Holbein, Gambling. They're all great for their value. I love them all depending on the stage of the painting. Let's get to my favorite oil paint brands. In case you don't know, oil paint is a slow drying paint consisting of pigment particles broken in a drying oil, commonly linseed oil. You may modify the consistency of the paint by adding a solvent such as balsamic turpentine or sunflower. And you may add varnish to increase the glossiness of the dried oil paint feel. My two favorite paints are Old Holland and Luca Studio. Here is why. Old Holland is a company based in the Netherlands that manufactures high quality painting supplies. Founded in 1664, the company continue the heritage of uh, Dutch masters painters. They are a popular choice for artists wanting density pigmented oil colors with the highest possible light fastness. Here we get to the technicality of what light fastness is. The light fastness, the light fastness of a paint color or pigment is how permanent it is or how unaffected it is by light. I know that I can trust these paints because over time the pigment won't be affected as much as if I use uh, cheaper oil paint brands. I also like the richness of the pigment and the quality of the consistency. You get the best out of the price. Now, moving forward to my second choice, which is uh, Luca Studio. When it comes to the light fastness, you get over 60% with three stars. The one I have with me today has two. Here is what they say on their website. Luca Studio Oil, Fine Artist Oil Color, the modern premium quality with an optimized price performance ratio is ideal for the demanding artists and students. The oil colors contain only brilliant and valuable pigment with a high light fastness in high concentration for exceptional color intensity and passive. They use a safflower oil to manufacture pale shades and to reduce the traditional yellowing that occurs when made with linseed oil. What is the meaning of the information on the labels? First, Luca Studio, the brand name, color code 222, color name, fresh flesh color, light fastness, two stars in this case. 
pigment information, PW4, and then hazard information if you buy the a product in the in the US. Old Holland uh, labels, uh, you will find the color name which is cadmium red light, uh, color number 21, series E, pigment uh, classification, which is uh, cadmium, seleno, sulfate, if I pronounce it right, color index PR108, uh, color index number 77202. There is a lot of uh, to learn about oil paints. It's always a good idea to know what you use in the studio. Taking a little time to educate might help you understand your work work better. I would love to talk about it more but I run out of time. See you in the next video.